Hello, welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And tonight, we have all the fallout of the car chase that wasn't. Perhaps the most embarrassing situation that the Harkles have come up with since the sausage wedding. A lot to unpack today as well. But first, I want to reveal the real headline of last night's events. Meghan Markle chasing fame has resulted catastrophic for two families. Nobody's talking about this, but we need memes to start with the right foot. And I have a question. Perhaps Megan was cosplaying the back rooms? You know, those liminal spaces that have become legit urban legends in internet subculture. I don't know what would be more nightmare inducing. The back rooms themselves or finding Megan in there. Because let's face it. Megan really nailed it this time with that dress, spawning countless memes like the ones featured by NTZ9 on Twitter. By the way, an actress, a couch, and a fish? Is that some kind of message in there? Please don't answer. And another question is this picture that that guy's hands is just one inch of the whole tango session. What is happening, Harry? Please turn around. Is that their bodyguard? As in Kevin Costner's style bodyguard? And you know how great minds think alike and synchronicity is a real thing because I had just written about Kevin Costner and Lean Me Machine tagged me on this picture of Whitney Houston. You cannot make this up. And by the way, on Twitter too, Elon announced that verified users can now upload videos of up to two hours. That's awesome. Megan could upload the whole chase. Even mad cartoons jumped in the joke. Some people might describe your driving as a near catastrophe with multiple near collisions. This has been so embarrassing that even Megan's speed dial paparazzi's bag grid have something to say about this. At Backgrid USA Incorporated, we value transparency and ethics in journalism, which include providing fair and factual responses to claims. We are aware of Prince Harry's statement regarding an alleged near catastrophic car chase involving himself, Meghan Markle, and her mother in New York City on Tuesday night. We want to clarify that we have received photos and videos of last night's events from four freelance photographers, three of whom were in cars and one of whom was riding a bicycle. That is important to highlight. Freelance photographers, as in they are like Peter Parker, who is not directly related to the Daily Bugle. Um, I'm sure Backgrid's attorneys highlighted this fact so that they distance themselves from whatever chaotic situation these freelancing photographers caused if any. It is important to note that these photographers have a professional responsibility to cover newsworthy events and personalities, including public figures such as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. According to the accounts given by these freelance contributors, they were covering the couple's stay in New York City, including the possibility of a dinner after an award ceremony. They had no intention of causing any distress or harm, as their only tool was their cameras. A few of the photos even show Meghan Markle smiling inside a cab. And yes, that's something that my Twitter rogues confirmed yesterday. Meghan was delighted inside that cab, looking at all the chaos around her, the cameras, the flashes, while Harry was... Wait a minute, what was Harry doing with that phone? Was he filming? Was he catching up on succession? The photographers report that one of the four SUVs from Prince Harry's security escort was driving in a manner that could be perceived as reckless. The vehicle was seen blocking off streets and in one video it is shown being pulled over by the police. We understand that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's security detail had a job to do and we respect their work. And this is the part when Backgrid literally exposed Harry and Meghan's lie. We do, however, want to point out that according to the photographers present, there were no near collisions or near crashes during this incident. The photographers have reported feeling that the couple was not in immediate danger at any point. 
Ooh, I'm telling you that burn had to hurt, but we'll see if Megalire keeps using Backgrid's services. But the Harkos strike back. Harry and Megan demand photo agency, give them footage of Chase agency fires back. You can't play by King's rules. I don't know how they could make this work. How can the agency hand over footage that doesn't exist? Uh, I can imagine Backgrid extending an empty hand and saying, here's the footage, take it. What else can they do? But no, it's not that simple or funny because Backgrid's lawyers have hit back. Backgrid's lawyer has rejected the sausages demand, saying in a letter, In America, as I'm sure you know, property belongs to the owner of it. Third parties cannot just demand it be given to them as perhaps kings can do. Perhaps you should sit down with your client and advise them that his English rules of royal prerogative to demand that the citizenry hand over their property to the crown were rejected by this country long ago. We stand by our founding fathers. Damn, man, what is this? It's like Bagrins telling the sausages, you cannot bully us into giving you anything. If Megan wants it, she still ain't gonna get it. Cue Montecito screaming. And to make things even worse, this Count Barbie can try to explain the situation and in a desperate attempt to justify the fact that traffic in New York flows at a snail pace, but at times they had windows of opportunity so they could just blast down the street at 80 miles per hour. I'm sure that's pretty much illegal, by the way. I I'm not putting that video in here because I, I don't want to give him exposure. But I'm sure those wars are going to come back to bite him soon enough. Believe that. But what can you do if even Whoopi Goldberg herself, and I'm not saying that the women of The View are the best source for, well, anything, but Whoopi called BS on the Chase story. These two sentences are golden. I think people in New York know if it was possible to have car chases in New York, we'd all make it to the theater in time. And sometimes I'm in the city and I hear an ambulance trying to get through and I think that person is dead. Yeah, gruesome, but she's got a point. And the plot thickens even more. Even E, paparazzi who took pictures of Harry and Meghan include black freelance journalists. Where are the race baiters? Anything to say? Prince Harry is now using white privilege to attempt to bully black men. Boy. That is not gonna end well. And I hope the taxi driver doesn't get any flack because he has also given his version of the events, which has nothing to do with the Harkle's nonsense. I don't think I would call it a chase, says taxi driver. The Washington Post quoted taxi driver Sushant Singh, who said he drove the group and a security guard for around 10 minutes before returning to the police station from where he had picked them up at the security guard's request? I don't think I would call it a chase, Singh has put it as saying, adding that two vehicles had followed them and driven next to them, taking pictures and filming. That's it. So it seems like it was pretty much a setup, like it was on purpose. They hop into the taxi, get the pap shots and stuff, and then go back to the same police station. Don't try to make sense of it. You know that this is Megan's idea of fun. My royal rogues, we are 120,000 now thanks to you. I couldn't be more grateful because it is you who make this video so fun to make. Remember to like this video and the most important words, much love and bliss.